do we know now that we didn't at the beginning of the season? Are we closer to handing out awards? We are going to try. Lauren Shahadi, Ken Berger, your NBA columnist here with you. We are talking sixth man award, and nobody does it quite like Jamal Crawford. Off the bench, gives you what you like. You got to like that, Ken. Yeah, this has been an excellent, uh, excellent marriage for both Jamal Crawford and the Hawks. You know, Jamal knew that when he went to Atlanta, they were, you know, they were already a playoff team, and they'd probably be leading him to the playoffs for the first time in his career after, you know, in a, after a nine-year drought. But you know, what he wasn't so sure of is exactly what his role would be, and he's been able to embrace the role of coming off the bench. He's their second leading scorer, almost 18 points a night. And he gives them exactly what they needed, instant offense off the bench and a guy who can have the ball in his hands that, that they'll trust late in crunch time so everything doesn't fall on Joe Johnson's shoulders. Ken, speaking of roles, over the course of the season, whenever we talk about Lakers injuries, we always talk about those fringe Lakers. And Lamar Odom is always right there. Absolutely. I mean, in my mind, Lamar Odom, other than Kobe Bryant, I really believe that Lamar Odom is, is as important as anyone on that roster in terms of the Lakers' ability to repeat. And there's a reason that Phil Jackson was so adamant in talking to Dr. Jerry Buss over the summer that they needed to bring this guy back. And he really, he really does everything for them off the bench. You know, the, the mismatches that he presents for the opposition with his size and his ability to handle the ball on the perimeter – uh, he'll score for you. He'll defend multiple positions. And, you know, he's really right in the middle of everything the Lakers do. Ken, we talked about Crawford earlier, and tell me if I'm right about this. Uh, and you wrote about it, kind of explaining it. Privately, the Hawks kind of had him model himself after Jason Terry. Why? He's also on your list. Well, if I wrote about it, it must be true. <laughs> that's and, right. Of it's of the course, Bible. And, and that, that's, that's um, right. Yeah, that's exactly right. I mean, that's that's the way, you know, J Jason Terry won the award last year. He's kind of been, along with Manu Ginobili, kind of the two guys who really have defined what that role of sixth man of the year means. And, you know, when Jamal went to, went to Atlanta, you know, it was kind of whispered to him that, hey, you know, Jason Terry has really made a name for himself in this league as a guy who comes off the bench and really is considered, you know, a sixth starter rather than a sixth man. And I think that's that really appealed to Jamal Crawford, and I think – you know, you see the year that, that Jamal's had in Atlanta, and Jason Terry just keeps it going. Although his numbers are down a little bit, he's still very important to Dallas and, and what, everything they do. You talk about your top three, then you talk about Manu Ginobili. Any other names being thrown around? Well, Manu certainly has to be in there. There's a couple of other guys that probably won't get a lot of attention, you know, partially because their teams aren't winning and, they're, you know, they're caught in the small market uh, mix there. But I think one guy is Carl Landry in Sacramento. Um, and, and another one certainly would be Kevin Love in Minnesota. He's putting up really impressive numbers for a guy who doesn't, you know, he doesn't even play 30 minutes a night. He's averaging 15 points and, you know, seven or eight rebounds or so. And, you know, really, really is going to be probably a blossoming star uh, as, a, as a starter for them in the future. But right now he's really given them a lot off the bench and given them reason to hope that he won't be forgotten about uh, down the road. Ken Berger, NBA columnist, whatever he writes is correct. That's what you should get out of this video. I'm making him speculate because that's what I do. For Ken Berger, I'm Lauren Shahadi. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching.